Amid regional efforts to normalize ties with the Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad, one country remains fiercely resistant. Qatar says it has no plans to embrace al-Assad, who's blamed for the deaths of tens of thousands of his own people and the displacement of many, many more. Doha is instead seeking to unite the Syrian opposition. For more on that, we can go now to Dubai. We're joined by our correspondent Bastien Bori. Bastien, what is Qatar doing in relation to Syria exactly? Well, um, let's take a step back. Um, Qatar has basically always seen Syria as the, the culmination of its foreign policy and one of the very few ways to enable itself to act as a regional power after being a, a diplomatic nobody. So uh, before the uprising in Syria, Bashar al-Assad and his wife were, were regular visitors to Doha. And Qatari institutions were big investors in Syria. Um, Sheikh Hamad was instrumental in restoring Syrian relations with countries like France, um, Qatar basically wanted to moderate Assad's policies. But when the war erupted in 2011, um, Qatar's instinct was to bet on the opposing side, on the Syrian opposition, to strengthen Doha's role in the region, to maintain good relations with the Americans and the Europeans who were also backing this uh, dissidents, and to circumvent Damascus's refusal to extend Qatari gas pipelines to Europe uh, via Syria. So. Qatar has spent billions on armaments, financial support for dissidents, um, diplomatic maneuvering, lobbying in favor of the opposition, and today on uniting the extremist factions of northern Syria under a single banner um, to obstruct a solution to the Syrian crisis and prevent Damascus from regaining sovereignty uh, in those areas. Well, well, just how much influence do they have in Doha? Can they kind of torpedo the Arab League's attempts at reconciling completely with Syria? Let's say that um, the so-called reconciliation will be incomplete. Um, the Arab League has 22 countries. Decisions have to be adopted by a majority of nations. So if Syria's return to the organization gets more than 11 votes, it's done. Uh, and that will probably be the case since when the Saudis try to impose something on their neighbors, they usually get it. But, what, but that doesn't mean that it will be unanimous. Major Arab countries like Qatar have reiterated that there is no justification for Syria's return to the you know, the club of respectable nations. Um, the Qataris are voluntarily imposing impossible conditions. They want all Syrian refugees to be repatriated and fully re reintegrated. So the reconciliation will be incomplete because of Qatar. Bastien, thank you very much indeed. Bastien Bovey there in Dubai.